This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play I Need Your Love by Calvin Harris and Ellie Golding. So here we go, give you a preview of that catchy section. Check it out. And you repeat it with improvisations afterwards. You can be like. Alright, anyway, let's get around to the melody and block chords of the song because that's the foundation of a song. And from that, you can add all your de decorations and improvisations after you master the melody and chords. Alright, so here we go. Let's break it up to parts. It's easier to learn. First part goes like this right hand starts on the C, middle C is here, go up an octave to the C. Goes C up to G. E flat C, C G, E flat C. And that's it for the first part. Simple stuff. It's just this four note phrase played for two times. Let's do it again. So you learn it again like this C G, E flat C, C G, E flat C. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are C minor, which is C, E flat G. And second chord is A flat major, which is A flat C, E flat. So with these two chords in mind, so C minor and A flat major, the two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts, C and C minor together, C and A flat major together. That's it for the first part, let's learn it again, it goes, together, together. That's it for this first part. Alright, moving on to the second part, right hand continues, goes C, G, F, E flat, B flat. B flat G, E flat F, and that's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's learn it again. It goes C, G, F, E flat, B flat, B flat G, E flat F. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are E flat major, both of them. E flat G, B flat. So two of these E flat major chords. So with these two E flat major chords in mind, so two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts. B flat and E flat major together. F and E flat major together. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it again. Together. Together. And that's it. Back to back. The two parts I've learned so far will be played like this. Alright, something awesome happens because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So we just save some time. Back to... Alright, now moving on, the fourth and last part is a kind of like a combination of the second part plus extra stuff, okay? So right hand goes C, G, F, E flat, B flat, and then changes to C, E flat, G, G, B flat, G, E flat, C. That's it for the right hand, alright? So a little bit different for this fourth part, right hand. So it goes C, G, F, E flat, B flat, C, E flat, G, G, B flat, G, E flat, C. Those are the notes for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have three chords finishing off. The three chords are two E flat major chords, which you know, E flat, G, B flat, so two of them. Followed by a third chord, which is back to C minor, which is C, E flat, G, which you know as well, pretty much, from the first part. All right, so with these three chords in mind, so two E flat major and one C minor, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, B flat and E flat major together. Second G and E flat major together. C and C minor together. That's it. That's the fourth part. One more time. It goes. Let's get up. Let's get up. Let's get up. And there you go. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Yeah, so once you get the melody and block chords of a song all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make them more awesome. And yeah, you can do like octave bass note and then arpeggios, rhythmic patterns. 
that kind of thing, all right? And uh, then the right hand, you can harmonize it based on the chords to make it thicker in texture. It's going to do something like... Yeah, you can do whatever like version you want based on like the improvisations you want to put in it okay so yeah fun stuff hope you enjoyed this tune if you want to learn other catchy tunes by calvin harris or ellie golding just search up your favorite song name followed by amos doll in the youtube search to find all those other lessons to learn for yourself but as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.